टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द एक्सेस प्रेशर इनसाइड सोप बबल लिक्विड ड्रॉप एंड एयर बबल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल स्टडी अबाउट एक्सेस प्रेशर इनसाइड द सोप बबल इन द फर्स्ट डायग्राम वी हैव शोन ए सोप बबल ऑफ रेडियस आर इन इन द सेकेंड डायग्राम वी आर शोइंग द लेफ्ट हाफ सेक्शन ऑफ द सोप बबल द प्रेशर इन साइड इज डिनोटेड एज पी इन एंड द प्रेशर आउटसाइड इज डिनोटेड एज पी नॉट एज यू कैन सी द शेप ऑफ द सो बबल इज कॉन्केव टूवर्ड्स इन साइड एंड कॉन्वेक्स टूवर्ड्स आउटसाइड दैट मीन्स द प्रेशर इन साइड शुड बी मोर देन द आउटसाइड प्रेशर एंड देर इज सम फोर्स ड्यू टू द एक्सेस प्रेशर टूवर्ड्स लेफ्ट बट एज यू कैन सी दिस सो बबल is in stable state there is a force towards right due to surface tension one interface is between air outside and the soap bubble and one interface is due to air inside and the soap bubble and the force due to outside air is surface tension t multiplied by length of the circumference and force at inside surface is surface tension t and length of the circumference for equilibrium state we can say that p in minus p not into pi r square this is the force acting towards left this should be equals to force due to surface tension which is 2 times t into 2 pi r that is we can say p in minus p not equals to 4 t by r and this my friend is called the excess pressure excess pressure inside so bubble which is 4 t by r now we will further move on to excess pressure inside a liquid drop of radius r similar to the case of so bubble here the p inside is more than p outside and the force due to excess pressure is towards left and as you can see in liquid drop there is only single interface so the force towards right due to the surface tension is t into 2 pi r only at the outside surface so for equilibrium we can say p in minus p not into pi r square this should be equals to t into t into 2 pi r so we can say p in minus p not equals to 2 t by r as you can see in case of so bubble there is two interfaces so the excess pressure there is 4 t by r in case of liquid drop there is only one interface so the excess pressure is 2t by r so we can say in case of two interfaces and spherical surface the excess pressure should be 4t by r and in case of single interface excess pressure should be 2t by r now we will we will move on to the questions asked in j main on based on the surface tension here the question asked in j main on line 218 the question is something like this that there are two concentric spherical surfaces the inner radius is 4 cm and outer radius is 6 cm and the outside pressure is given as p not the inside pressure is p2 inside the inner surface we have to find out the radius equivalent to the excess pressure of the first system or you can say 
what should be the radius so that excess pressure inside the second surface uh, second diagram it should be equal to the excess pressure inside the first diagram shown so we can say p2 minus p0 should be equals to 4t by r and this should be written as we can say first apply the concept toward in the first diagram we can say that it should be equals to 4t by 6 plus 4t by 4 so from this we can say that r equals to 6 into 4 upon 6 plus 4 that means this is equals to 2.4 centimeter as you can see the question is very simple and based on the surface tension thanks my friends